So when we were first told about this new project, I think we're all excited. Um, we hadn't put a product on the market in a few years, so I think it gave us an opportunity to uh, come up with something new and exciting. When I was first told about physiology and pathology, the first thing that came into my head was that gif of Stephen Colbert where he's like, give it to me now. And that has been me for the last two years. We did know from all of our planning that this was going to be a very labor-intensive app. There was no question there, um, but we got buy-in from our stakeholders, from our, our CEO, um, all the way you know across our teams to really make a time investment to make something that really is going to wow our audience. When I was first brought on to the Physiology and Pathology project, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it. This was the first project that I was able to work on you know, from the ground up. And hearing that we were bringing in pathology models and a beating heart, couldn't wait to get started. I think the first thing I thought about starting work on physiology and pathology was that this really filled like a niche that we hadn't filled quite as much as a company. Like obviously anatomy and physiology does cover a lot of the physiology topics, but this really gave us the chance to go a lot deeper into them and into how they can go wrong, which I think is super relevant when you're learning physiology in the first place. You learn what goes right and then you learn what goes wrong. It was really a challenge to try to guesstimate initially how much manpower this this project was going to take. We knew a lot. I think we started yeah, with the short answer a lot. Is probably no. Yeah. <laughs> I think it uh, always takes at least a little bit longer than you think it's going to take. Since we're a bunch of perfectionists here, getting the heartbeat into the app was something that we really focused on. We wanted to make sure that the beat itself was synced up with the opening and closing of the valves down to the frame. One particular part of the heart wall model that was a little bit more difficult but was an interesting challenge to tackle was um, doing kind of the front lattice structure of the trabeculae just because there was a lot of detail that needed to be put into it but um, you want it to. You want to keep all of the models low poly, which means that you want them to have detail, but not be really high resolution. That's just going to make the app too big for people to download. You know, we thought, no, we can't do that. We can't do it in Unity. We knew we could make a beating heart, and I think as the team kept working on it, we kept figuring out we could do more and more, and that was exciting to watch. The kidneys, just the polycystic kidneys, just because it's really interesting and, and I always loved the kind of goopy, gross looking things. I didn't work on that one, but I, I think that one's really cool. <laughs> so when I was first handed the polycystic kidney, I thought it was wrong. I handed it back to the art team and they came over and said, no, this is right. This is how it's supposed to look. And I was horrified. I think my favorite is the heart wall. Actually, it's, I feel like it has a lot of depth, even though some of that was kind of like two-dimensional, but it was pulled off in a way that it really looks totally 3D, so I like that. <laughs> My favorite was the polycystic kidney model. I'm so touched. Thank you. <laughs> I think my favorite was um, Duke's atherosclerosis model, because I think that really a big challenge of it was pushing the boundary of having it be this micro-anatomy model, but at one level, I like looked a certain way, and then you'd have to like really zoom in and see all the detail that he put into it. <laughs> I consider it monumental. It was monumental. <laughs> I'll tell you, it was a really funny feeling when, when we were, you know, done. I mean, so it's software; it's never done. We're yeah. never. We're still creating more content that we're going to feed into the app over time. It was almost crazy to look around the room and say, "Oh my God, the app is out there!" Yeah, it's out there. It's done, and it's out there. Yeah. I love it. It's, yeah, it's better than we thought it could be, I think. So for instructors, I think that they've been waiting for this for a very long time. And for students, I think it's unlike anything that they've ever seen or used before. 
So I think it's going to be a very incredible experience for them. Yes, I am happy with the way the app turned out. I think it's a really good, solid foundation. Uh, it's a version one, and what we'll do as a company, we listen to the market, we see what they want, and we develop the app in response to their needs. So I think it's a great app now, and I think in the future it'll be even better.